Julie Halston is a stage icon. This month, she'll be honored with a special Tony Award for her humanitarian efforts. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek. Julie Halston is a great lady of the stage with countless unforgettable performances to her credit. Now she's being honored with the Isabel Stevenson Award at this year's Tony's for her humanitarian work while gearing up for the off-Broadway comedy Fairy Cakes and many TV gigs, including the upcoming Sex and the City reboot and Just Like That. I got to sit with Halston at Gallo Green to talk about all of it. You will be receiving the Isabel Stevenson Award. Now, did you ever meet Is Isabel Stevenson? You know, when I first came to New York, yeah. uh, I literally said hello, and that was it. Yeah. Never in a million years would I ever think, oh, one of these days, I'm going to get that award named after you. I cannot even begin to tell you how gobsmacked I am and was when they called and told me. And, you know, it's not why I do the advocacy that I do. So the Isabel Stevenson Award is for humanitarian work. Yes. It's not for your amazing resume of performances, which, you know, I mean, it, well, you, you are a great lady of the stage because of all the work we've seen you do. Um, but it, it is for, for doing good in this world. Your late husband, Ralph Howard, he died of pulmonary fibrosis. And the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation is an organization that you worked on together. What happened was Michael Kushwara, right, a fantastic theater critic, theater critic for the Associated Press, who used to go to the theater very often with my late husband because oh, wow. they were friends. He passed away from pulmonary fibrosis, yeah. a disease we'd never heard of, yeah. at the same time that Ralph was diagnosed with it. Wow. As a memorial service to Michael, who loved Broadway performers. We put a memorial service together. Uh, Liza Minnelli showed up, um, <laughs> which was, well, hello. It was such a success that the Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, which helped us put it together, said maybe we should do this every year. Ralph, who really was so lucky because he received a lung transplant and it gave him an extra eight years, he said, no, honey, we're, we're on board now. We got to do this. This is going to help other people. And, you know, this was an amazing situation. This is a gift. So we did. I'm just so happy that we're going to be able to put a spotlight on an organization that is helping so many people. So I'm getting a Tony. And I'm just like, wait a minute. That means I'm actually going to have a Tony, like, in my home. I feel like I'm always cheering you on because you started off Broadway. Oh, off, off. Off, off, <laughs> working with Charles Bush. Yes. And so by the time you got to Broadway, for me, you were almost like this underdog I was always kind of cheering for. I was known as the downtown diva. Yeah. That's how people, if they ever wrote about me, I was the downtown diva. Roundabout Theater Company yeah. did a lot of revivals. Right. And because of Charles Bush, because we were always doing parodies yes. of film style, noir style, and stylized. Right, yeah. I learned how to talk fast, real fast. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I was like, hey, cut the chin music. Suddenly, that just snowballed and snowballed became and snowballed. Became legitimate. Became very legitimate. <laughs> so suddenly, people went, oh, she's Eve Arden. Not bad to be Eve Arden. <laughs> That's a career, you know? Yeah. And I was like, ah, boom. <laughs> The original run of Sex and the City was fantastic in the amount of theater actors yes. that they used. Yes. There was one point where the ladies were sleeping with every Broadway actor oh, yeah. imaginable. Oh, yes. Yeah. You And you had one of those very memorable uh, characters. What was her name? Bitsy Von Muffling. Everyone, yes. Carrie! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carrie! And just like that. And just and like just that. And just like that, it's back. It's a yes. reboot. And, and you're in it. Bitsy is coming so back. Julie, yes. you're actually in a new play with an amazing cast, <laughs> written by an amazing, funny playwright, Douglas Carter Bean. Tell me about fairy cakes. It's kind of a fractured fairy tales, remember that? Okay, yep. It's done in verse. Oh. So it's done in verse, okay. which, hello, am I a classical actress? Now no. you are. Now I am. <laughs> However, it's kind of a great mashup of Shakespearean characters okay. and Disney characters. Oh, okay. I play 
Titania. Yes, I believe she's a Shakespeare character. And she's a Shakespeare character. Um, quite the diva. Yes. And Mo Rocca from CBS This Morning yes. is playing Geppetto. Then to have Jackie Hoffman and Anne Harada playing fairies who happen to be my daughters. <laughs> what is that? Right. What is happening? Right. It's from the crazy, sick mind of Douglas Carter Bean. He was telling me about this and I thought, I love you, Douglas Carter Bean, and I love your work. This sounds nuts <laughs> and sounds like it could be terrible. Well, I have to say, I started laughing like from page one. I'm Tamsin Fidel and you're watching The Broadway Show.